Today's art project is all whimsy and flowers because we are making a little page for your journal where you can tuck away a secret note. Hey gang, welcome back. My name is Shada Campbell and today we are doing a little something that I like to call random journal art that is totally just for fun. So I am working in my bullet journal. It's a notebook from Baron Fig. I'll link it in the description. It has really good paper quality and it's a great size of notebook. That's why I love it. And we're going to make this little, kind of like a little secret panel to put your own notes and affirmations or whatever you want to hide away. And we'll do that by turning the notebook and folding our page in half. So just fold it carefully. Um, if you don't get it right in half, it doesn't matter. You can see mine's folded there and it gives us this space underneath where we can tuck a little note or drawing or something. The whole project is sort of silly and whimsical and it's quite personal because it's in your journal, but it also only takes an afternoon, maybe an hour. So let's get started. <laughs> I am drawing a little rectangle here on the folded portion and that is going to be an envelope and then we're going to have this big burst of flowers coming out of our little envelope. So start with that rectangle, then grab some markers. I've got mine in my little jar here and I'm going to think about the color palette as usual. I'm starting with two greens, very cool dark green and light green. I'm gonna grab a, a warm kind of light purple. I'm thinking dark indigo blue and then um, like a bit of magenta or burgundy. So you can just see from the markers themselves, that's a nice simple color palette. Now we'll jump over here and I'm going to begin with my purple. It's almost a pink purple. I really like this color. And I am doing these loose spirals and they kind of create the look of kind of peonies or roses. So we're starting with some larger flowers. I'll grab my dark green and I'll begin drawing some stems and little leaves. The whole design is that the flowers and leaves are bursting out of the envelope. And um, so it makes it quite easy to do. You're just drawing everything going kind of up and out. And as I put these blue leaves in, you can see they're, they're curling up and away from the envelope. And of course I am working across the two pages. I've got my folded page clipped down, so it makes it really easy to draw on both of them as though it's just one page. And that's how you're thinking about this as you get started. Just think of it as one piece of paper, one image, this little envelope with this burst of florals. Um, when I did this flower, I'm kind of trying to draw it on both pieces of paper. So just go carefully and you'll be fine. And the main formula here is think about your color palette ahead of time. Start by drawing some larger flowers and then just join them all together with lots of little leaves and stems. I've expanded my color palette slightly, adding a cool pink, a peach, and I even added a bit of brown. Now I'm using mostly Faber-Castell brush markers, but I do have a few Koi brush pens mixed in there as well. If you're wondering about the supplies that I use, head to my blog because now on my blog, I'm able to link directly to an art store so you can see the supplies and you can also see still images of the artwork. So if you're trying to draw this and the video is going too fast or something on the blog, you can see step-by-step -step photos. So head over there after today's video. Okay, now that the flowers are pretty much done, I am going to color in the envelope, envelope, how do you say envelope? Um, and I am doing warm gray, of course, what else? You could leave it white, you could do brown, whatever, anything goes. Fill in the um, flowers just a little more, maybe put a few leaves peeking out over the top of the envelope, and then um, add any last details that you would like to add to the florals. And at this point, I think it's looking quite pretty. What I wanna do now is just my sketchy black line, <laughs> add um, just a bit of an illustrative touch with the Pigma Micron. And I'm using the 08, a larger nib. I've just been, I don't know, I've been into sort of a chunkier drawing lately, so. Next, we will add a title. You don't need to title this by any means, but I think the note to self is kind of cute and it hints at what this layout is all about. Do it in pencil first and then go over it with pen. That's always a good idea. Um, and then I decided to add just a little bit of um, black fine liner to my illustration. I'm not going over everything, uh, just a few lines here and there, kind of make the whole thing pop with without making it look too heavy. 
All right, fine liner is added. This is done. This illustration I think looks quite pretty. And now that I've removed the clip, you can see what it looks like when I open the page. Um, but that's what we need to do now. I want this part of the illustration to look good as a standalone piece. So I'm using my pencil to kind of figure out where I might place some more flowers. The idea here is simply that this is going to be a bouquet. So I'm kind of making everything come down towards some just some thin stems at the bottom. Bottom. And I'm basically starting the same way. Begin with a few large flowers and uh, from there we'll surround them with leaves and branches and stems and little berries and all those details, the usual. <laughs> so um, yeah, I think this is going to be quite pretty and I'm excited to have this kind of secret, not so secret, but secret compartment page in my journal where I can tuck away a few of my affirmations. Just that's basically what I'm going to use mine for, positive affirmations to myself and I would love to know what you would use this for you know you have space there to kind of tuck a little note or even make some notes or drawings so what would you use it for poetry drawings let me know in the comments below and if you share your work on social media make sure to use hashtag shade made me draw it because I can't wait to see what you do with this there's so many ways I think to vary the illustration and of course what you can kind of tuck away behind it so definitely share Share your artwork and use hashtag shade of made me draw it. What am I saying? Oh my goodness. Okay. So to finish this, I am just doing a little bit. I'm drawing a few leaves that are not colored. I just like that mix of color and black and white. And yeah, that is, I think that's all done. I love the way this looks and I'll be tucking away some little personal affirmations behind the fold. Thanks guys for watching. Head to the blog, share your work using hashtag shade of made me draw it. And I will see you soon with a new tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe.